Uh, tell me something. Uh, has the police ever pointed guns at you? Huh? Yes or no? Tell the story. Don't worry about the fucking makeup. I want to know about has the police ever oh pointed God, guns at you? How and why? Uh, a few times. Tell the story about. You're putting me on the spot. Come on now. When the police. You called me on the phone one day and I went and I penetrated their lives with authority and made them do something. Tell that camera what did they do that made me penetrate their lines. The whole. Alright, you guys. <coughs> this is what happened. So I heard noises outside. Speak up. <laughs> I heard noises outside. This is not no case. And um, I think I was I was breastfeeding my youngest son, right? That's what happened. But I, I, I stopped. Born? Yeah, I stopped to go open the door to see what was going on. No, I did live in the hood, but. <clears throat> So then, uh, they were, I guess they were looking for somebody, but as soon as I opened the door, they all, like, pointed their guns at me, and... What kind of guns was they pointing at you? ARs. 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 They had oh, four of them. ARs. Right they ARs. pointed at her yeah, because she was living in the wrong neighborhood. They was looking for a male black with a gun, male black team with a gun. Yeah, so, she opened the door, and seen there was a bunch of cops there, got scared real quick, closed it, but before she closed it out, drew on her and told her, get your ass outside now. And they legally ordered her out of her house at gunpoint. Wait, so, kids. did the police, did they, did they not come to your house and apologize to you? Yes, they did. They did. That's right, because I penetrated those police lines with authority that day. They said, sir, we will talk to you in a minute. And I said, no, sir, you will talk to me now. Okay, and out there, amongst them and their little crowd, I quoted to them Plumber versus State, okay? Now, I also told them I know how to file on them. And what I told them was, if they went and apologized to her, I would let it go right then. But trust me, I had to suffer with them cops for a good year after that shit. Okay, but you auditors ain't nothing but a bunch of punks. Think y'all know something? Y'all don't know shit. Okay, now. I remember that day. Huh? You remember when that happened? See, he was seven years old. No, he was younger than that. I he was, was. I think he was seven six. years old because I had the blue line flag, and he asked me, "What does that blue line flag mean?" And I told him, I said, that means you support your local police. And he said, "But Grandpa, how can you support the police after what they did to my mama?" It wasn't even, just, the kids were right there next to me. They, all three of them. Yeah, they wouldn't let you back Not in. Just, Isaac, the youngest one, was on the couch. Baby. He was still a baby right there and like three days old. He was like three days old when that shit happened. That's okay? Cool. Yeah, but they say, oh, back to blue till it happens to you, motherfucker. I black, I back law and justice, not the fucking police. You have no idea. Y'all some dumb motherfuckers. Okay, but anyway, with that, I'm out. That was five.